Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a data broker removal tier list. I haven't seen one of these yet on YouTube. Now I am the creator and original maker of VPN tier list, VPN tier list.com, which is um, the biggest VPN tier list with the most amount of data. So make sure to check that out. I've ranked TorGuard and Surfshark in the top tier. Both of these are excellent VPN providers. TorGuard specifically as an amazing budget option, especially with my promo code, which I'll be putting in the link in the description down below. Additionally, Surfshark VPN, one of the few VPNs that does include a service that complements it very wonderfully. So let's go ahead and see where it ranks in this video as well. I'll be putting links for all these data broker removal services in the description down below. Some of them have affiliate programs, some do not. So keep that in mind, but this video is going to be unbiased. None of the providers here are paying me to rank them higher in this video. So keep that in mind going forward as well. All right, guys. So let's Let's go ahead and check out the tier list and where am I going to rank everything? So last time I put my thing in the wrong place so you couldn't see. There are a couple extra options here um, like this one and this one. I accidentally put those in and I didn't realize they had transparent backgrounds. So just ignore those for the purposes of this video. Sorry about that. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and run through these. Now, if you're not familiar with these, basically what all these services do is they pretty much scan websites on the internet and then through some method, um, usually from automated emails or people emailing these companies, they'll ask for your information to be removed. This means, means that like websites like white pages and other websites will not host your IRL information like your name, address, and these things. And you can even usually buy family plans as well. Now, all these services from what I've learned about them and tested them in the past, they all pretty much do the same thing and give you pretty much the same results. Um, really, the core differentiator, in my opinion, is the price. Now, when you have something like a VPN or even a game, a lot of the comparisons you will consider when choosing a VPN or even something like a game are how the VPN looks. Um, what kind of speeds can you get? Or maybe in something like a video game, you could compare the graphics and the fun it is. But these kind of services aren't really like that. In a lot of ways, you just pay them money. And the whole entire point is never to think about it again. You just want to have a subscription to these services and they'll go about their way removing information about you on the internet and you never even want to have to think about it. So it's kind of hard to compare them really outside of price. And I hope that really makes sense as price is really the main comparison metric we're considering. Since most of these services have a similar amount of data broker um, services, they contact remove information anything above around 170 um, in my opinion is a little bit extraneous so you'll see most of these services actually kind of be within that range as well so they don't really have advantages in my opinion outside of that kind of range since it's just going to be you know if one of these services says anything like 300 to a thousand websites i'm not even really entirely convinced there's that many websites people would be able to find um, on Google itself, I mean, maybe someone who's stalking you would go to like the third page of Google, which would be around 30 websites. So yeah, I think that makes sense in my opinion. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start with Optory. Um, now, Optory isn't one I see talked about too often. Um, I've seen them on Reddit kind of advertising here and there, saying they're the best and everything and so forth like that. Um, the main kind of component here that I'm going to be looking at is the extended plan, since I do believe only 110 websites is a little bit too um, less. Interestingly enough, it's 205, which is kind of a little bit more above my 170 benchmark. Um, so this mar approach does human plus a machine approach, and they have a bot only approach. Um, but like I said, I think um, we don't really necessarily know from each provider exactly what approach they take. I think most of them do a combination approach. So I'm not entirely convinced that that really sells me too much. I also don't know if it really makes that much of a difference, but it is something they're kind of trying to market here as an advantage. Um, that said, it's around $15 a month, which is pretty pricey. Now that would equate to around $100. $80 a year. So it is expensive. So either you can choose around $50 a year for not quite enough websites or around $180 a year for really the amount of websites you probably do need. So in my opinion, it is pretty expensive. However, the team seems pretty friendly and I haven't really had any bad interactions with this company. And overall tests seem to be pretty positive with this one as well. So honestly, in my tier list, 
Um, where is it? Somewhere around here. Here it is. I'm going to be ranking this one probably somewhere um, in B tier for now. And as we go throughout the video, we might make adjustments as this goes on. Now, next up, we have this service. This is Delete Me's logo. Um, just a little funny thing here. I think some of these companies, honestly, um, have terrible logos. Um, I'm not really sure why. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like an X or delete or something. Now, Delete Me is interesting. Um, you have a one-year plan only available. Uh, oh, that's like the two-year plan. I guess I kind of changed it a little bit. Um, yeah, for $130, um, this one, a lot of them, like I said, they don't really advertise exactly the number of data brokers um, like Optree does. I think it's kind of to some extent arbitrary. Like I said, most of them go after kind of the same ones. Um, but for this, uh, for the point of here, you get around 130. So it is going to be a little bit cheaper um, than Opter or um, Optree. Yeah, a little bit cheaper. There's not quite as much flexibility in the amount of plans. Um, but it is a little bit cheaper. Um, that said, I have had some negative interactions with this company. For some reason, I was a partner of theirs a while ago, um, and I did like their service. I was one of the first people to start reviewing it, but they said uh, they kicked me out of their affiliate program for no reason, said something with their payment gateway was having issues, and they thought I was like messing with it or something like that. Now, while this doesn't necessarily have a direct effect on you as a potential customer, in my opinion, it makes it a lot harder to recommend here on the channel. Since if I have a negative experience as someone who's promoting the product and likes the brand and wants more people to use it and I get treated unfairly, uh, that doesn't really speak that well about the company, especially since they've been sponsoring and promoting other YouTubers on YouTube. Um, it doesn't seem really fair to me. According to my affiliate panel at the time, around three years ago, it says, hi there. Fortunately, we were seeing nefarious traffic come from your affiliate links and were forced to terminate our affiliate relationship. We were seeing hundreds of failed transaction attempts coming from your links, seemingly attempting to threaten our infrastructure. Um, so I have no idea what this was about. I have never had any issues like that with any other affiliate here on the channel, any partner of mine. Um, it definitely seems odd and I still to this day was not informed what this was about or contacted or asked to explain anything about this. Now, the funny thing is, two years later, this company actually reached out to me with seemingly no recollection of recollection of what happened. Um, they were trying to get me to sponsor them and advertise them on my channel. Um, and then I emailed them saying, hey there, um, I was one of the first affiliates. You guys unceremoniously banned me from the program. I discussed the message they sent to me. Um, I said, seeing how you banned me from the program for no reason at all, I don't see how I could have interest in being a partner with you. Since I was not involved in sending any malevolent traffic, I would have no interest in harming one of my affiliates. The accusation, to be quite frank, is insulting. I reached out to delete me for explanation and received no responses at all. Let me know if you know what happened. Uh, this was... Uh, a year ago now from now exactly and i never responded i never received any email of explanation and they haven't asked me to review their program at all either definitely really weird now once again i even messaged them on twitter and immediately after this happened uh this was three years ago and they still haven't replied to me uh now so yeah if they are willing to treat someone who is advertising their product and being an affiliate for them and gave them a positive review. They're willing to treat me this way. Well, I don't know if that necessarily means they're going to treat you well as a customer. That said, it is pretty expensive, at least in terms of my opinion, but it's still a little bit cheaper than Optory, but not as much flexible of as plans. For now, I'm just going to put this one in B tier since at the end of the day, I think it will do its job, but me not being a huge fan of the company negatively influencing my opinion um, and could uh, impact you know how customers are treated as well, as well as the fact that it's a little bit expensive. Next up though, we're gonna take a look at Privacy B. Now, I don't really hear too many people talking about this one, but it's been around for a while. Um, this one is $197. Now, this one I do believe is more similar to something um, like um, Aura. It's more of a comprehensive service that kind of does the same thing, but does other things as well. So this one really being around $197 a year is quite pricey. And then you have something like Aura, which is gonna be around $144 a year or um, around $180, I think, 
um, if you bill monthly. Um, so this is probably going to do something similar. Um, I don't know if this quite includes um, data broker protection uh, removal services like these ones. Let me just double check. So it does. I just wanted to make sure it does include that feature. Um, so when you have something like Aura, I do believe it's cheaper than Privacy B, and these ones pretty much do kind of the same thing. But honestly, the fact you can't specifically extract that kind of feature out of it and pay less is annoying to me and not quite as good of a value proposition specifically for this kind of tool but i guess if you wanted a comprehensive suite of tools um, i would honestly say um, aura being cheaper privacy b seems to have a pretty crazy interface here um, not as much of a focus on it but still they kind of seem to do the same thing but at least in purely terms of a data broker removal tool, I'm going to rank privacy B lower just because it's more expensive, even though it might have more comprehensive tool set available outside of other things. But the, for the pure experience of this, it is more expensive. Aura probably does pretty much the same thing. Um, so it's just gonna be rated a little bit higher just because it's cheaper, like I said. Next up, we have a company called OneRap. Now this one I actually applied to their affiliate program, but they haven't contacted me or anything like that and one reason i did apply to it is because i think the family plan here is actually a pretty good deal if you have around six plus people um, i do think this is a pretty good deal for the price it offers i do think that the core plan here isn't quite as a good of deal and monthly does get pretty expensive really it's only the annual plans that are a good deal and month to month it's too expensive so specifically for the the family plan it is a good deal annually um because i don't really think any of the other services really kind of offer a similar kind of value for that family plan now lastly my personal favorite is going to be incogni now incogni why do i like incogni well one it is bundled with surfshark um and now that means you can get it for a really good deal especially if you want to buy a vpn with it however outside of its surfshark just as a service itself, I do think it is the best one. Why do I think that? Well, like I said in the beginning of this video, price. Objectively speaking, it is the cheapest. It's only around $78 a year. And year after that, annually, it stays the same, which means it's around $50 cheaper than Delete Me, um, $100 cheaper than some of the other options like Aura and Privacy B. And even with some of the other ones, um, like um, Optory, it's also cheaper than a plan that roughly covers the same amount of websites. Now, Incogni doesn't specifically advertise the number, but I think from my research, it's around 180 websites. For around 180 websites removed for only $78, you can't really find a cheaper data broker removal service. Additionally, you do get more flexibility than something like Delete Me, which only allows yearly plans. Um, and with something like OneRep, the monthly plans, as I just showed you, were honestly too expensive. Um, here they are, yeah. So if you look at monthly, it's gonna be quite expensive, around $3 more, and yearly is also more expensive too. So you get less flexibility, and it's also more expensive. So in my opinion, from pricing, alone incogni is clearly the winner it covers a good amount of websites around 180 and it's way cheaper than all the other options too additionally it can also be bundled in with a vpn provider like surfshark some other services like aura and privacy b i do believe include vpn but they are not as capable as vpns if you check on my tier list itself if you look at surfshark as a vpn provider not even considering its data broker removal services capability it's actually the number three rated vpn right now that has insanely good speeds really good streaming compatibility an amazing gui experience and pretty good pricing as well that does include incogni so if you're looking for a vpn as well that includes incogni with their ultimate plan it also includes antivirus so if you're comparing Surfshark as a service to something like Privacy B or Aura, I do think that gives you much, much better value. Um, but it's Incogni service alone, I think is insanely good value too. So guys, this is probably where my tier list is going to end up. I think OneRep presents a very good um, family plan, uh, probably the best one out of all of these. Um, but that said, Incogni, if you just buy it, 
it for each one of your family members unless you have like up to six it's still going to be a very good value proposition um optory has some very interesting flexible plans i think which is cool and they kind of have a free trial system which is neat um but in my opinion um it just doesn't really quite hit the right mark in terms of pricing for me specifically um, to get 30 more websites a year. I'm not willing to pay double the price of something like Incogni. Um, I already kind of talked about Delete Me, my personal bad experience with the company. Um, that said, for what it is, it's okay. It's just not really that special in my opinion. So I'm going to be fair and give it a B tier ranking. Aura and Privacy B can be good services if you're looking for a huge comprehensive suite of tools and you're going to pay a lot for it. But specifically for a data broker removal service, I don't think they're that amazing in terms of value. And specifically for other service values, like buying a bundle, like I said, I think Surfshark is a better solution than some of these ones here, since it offers better data broker removal services specifically and also better bundled offerings like it includes antivirus so guys those are my final opinions and thoughts let me know what you think in the description down below and i'll see you again very soon